When your burrito needs a home, find it one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Sunday everybody and you guys know what we do every Sunday. We do the Sunday night Q&A. Now unfortunately everybody, the summer's coming to an end. I've got a lot on my plate in the upcoming months. Pun intended, of course. I posted a picture today on my Instagram letting everybody know that this would be the final Sunday night Q&A, at least for now. So I got a lot of questions, let's get to them. Alrighty, the first question is gonna be coming from Colonel Cat, who says, what traits do you look for in a girlfriend? I like to have somebody that's confident, that knows what they want in life, somebody that has a stable job. Uh, I've always been a blonde guy, I like blonde girls, um, blonde women I should say. Uh, other than that, I mean, I just, I really look for confidence. I mean, looks are one thing, but as cliche as this sounds, personality is everything to me, so. Gina Luis asks, uh, your opinion on mashing versus spinning while biking, what's the difference? So the big difference, and I talk about this a lot, whenever I go over my cycling footage for you guys and I talk about efficiency, I talk about mashing versus spinning. So, uh, if you mash, what you're doing is you're, um, exerting more power than you need to be, essentially. So uh, if you can picture yourself going up a hill and you go like this with your pedals as opposed to spinning, you always wanna think of spinning as being the more efficient way to do it. I'm gonna probably answer this question, I'm probably eh, I'm probably gonna answer this question uh, at another time, but that's, again, you wanna think of spinning versus mashing. So exerting more power than you need to be. You wanna be as efficient as possible on the bike. I always talk about that, guys. All right, and kind of short asks, best memories when single or dating? My best memory when single or dating was actually has nothing to do with me being single or uh, together with somebody at all. Is actually when I went to San Francisco with my dad. I took an eighth grade trip with my class and we went to San Francisco. I had an awesome time over Fisherman's Wharf, Alcatraz, we did the whole deal. Uh, so eventually, I wanna go back there in the future. San Francisco is one of my favorite places in the world to visit, so. Alan Sonzuzi uh, says, do you think leg press is essential in a leg day workout? Uh, no, I think the squat is essential in a leg day workout. Taylor Ramy 28 asks, how do you deal with weight gain mentally? I'm currently bulking, but struggling with the fact that my abs are fading. This is very hard because I was fat most of my life. Uh, the best thing I recommend for situations like this, and I apply it to myself and what I went through, is that you're not gonna wake up one night obese. You're not gonna wake up one night uh, fat again, or I should say fat again, because you know that it takes so much to actually get to that point. I can't stress it enough with people is that you really have to be rational and realistic with your, your goals and, and what's actually gonna happen. Uh, the cool thing about gaining strength is that gaining strength is fun. Uh, it's something that uh, once you kind of get over that fear of your abs fading, you really, I mean, you can do so much with it. So that's really what I wanna say. Nick Runs asks, Nick Runs should be Nick Cycles asks, is the new bike more for racing or for average hill rides? I only ask because it doesn't look like it has a compact crank. Honestly, I can't really tell. I'm not as bike knowledgeable as you are. Uh, the new bike is for everything. No, but uh, yeah, the Giant TCR is actually mainly a climbing bike, but it does a little bit of everything. You can do racing with it. Uh, it's not really an endurance-based bike, but I would say, since I do climb a lot, you can really just say it's gonna be for climbing. Oliver Laidlun asks, how many calories do you think you get in one day? and I say this every single time, guys, all of them. Art Kala asks, what do you eat before, during rides, your pre-ride nutrition, question mark? Coffee. Brock Joel 32 asks, when are you going to make the triathlon dream a reality? Brock, when I can learn how to actually swim. I know how to swim, but I suck at swimming. And shout out to my boy Straight Veg who asks, what's your favorite non-pornographic magazine to masturbate to? Strong, bro, strong. Good housekeeping, obviously. And then we have a question from Means Trevor who says, what bike purchase would you recommend for overweight people? Um, honestly guys, you have to really do some research into this and it's also gonna matter if you're overweight, obese, there's size, uh, different size bikes for everything. So uh, if you're obese, you really have to look into, I mean, I would check out Giant, Giant's got awesome stuff. I push Giant enough on my channel, but um, you know, really just look into a ton of different manufacturers, uh, Fuji. Um, I know Fuji and Giant make some pretty awesome bikes for that, but you just have to do your research around. I can't really recommend a specific model right off the bat just because I don't really know your size. <laughs> so, Kenzie Stapleton asks, what's your favorite candy? Sour Skittles. Doll7899 asks, how many carbs in a day? How many carb in a day? And how you got your legs muscle from bike or deadlift and squat. I eat however much I feel like I need and I got my legs from being born. 
BR Wildman, shout out to you, a little subscriber asks, how's your training going, goals, question mark. Training is going awesome. I put up my latest video last night, kind of showing you guys my progression over the past, you know, week, and then obviously this whole, you know, month, month and a half really has just been awesome for me training wise. Constant progression is huge for me and I have to, you know, really keep uh, consistency. Consistency is also huge. So just being able to constantly progressively overload that was weird how that made sense, but constantly <laughs> progressively overload over you know the week, um, the weeks as they continue to, to go on is huge for me, and you know that just comes down to being smart with my training, my programming, and of course your nutrition. Roz Vana says, "Why are you not vegan?" Uh, I'm not vegan, and I'm not going to be sarcastic with this. Uh, I'm not vegan because I feel like uh, for me, with just with my history and everything, um, it does tend to uh, to push me into being a more restrictive eater. And uh, being vegan and everything, I know I understand it's a lifestyle and everything, but uh, for me and ethically, I mean, I just don't really ethically have a problem with, with consuming animal products. And I feel like that's what being a vegan is about. You're abstaining from animal products and um, you know, it's not just about the diet, but I feel like the diet is the, the main portion of veganism for the most part. But just for me, I choose not to do it just because I don't want to be restricted with my intake. G Huno says, do you listen to a certain song before attempting a PR set? Yeah, uh, I have a lot of them. Uh, anything Pantera, Avenged Sevenfold, um, uh, Panic at the Disco, just kidding. Um, but yeah, anything uh, heavy metal. I know I love Slayer, I love uh, a lot of that stuff too. So, I mean, Parkway Drive, all that stuff gets me going. Frank Goose Fit says, top three protein powders. And I would say, obviously, Cellucor. I like the cinnamon swirl flavor. PES's Snickerdoodle. Awesome, awesome flavor. Shout out to my boy Travis S for that one. And then number three definitely would have to be uh, a protein powder that not a lot of people know about anymore. It's by Ultra Peptide, Extreme Formulation Site, from what I remember they're called. And it's the cinnamon bun flavor. It is amazing. All right, everybody, so that's it for the Q&A. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, this is probably gonna be the last Sunday night Q&A that I have for a while. Uh, if you guys do have a question though, definitely post it below. I always like to answer questions as well. So whether it's just me being a sarcastic douche or a troll or None of those. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you haven't already, feel free to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and go ride a bike. Fitness? Fitness burger in my mouth. Psh.